Music is Brian Graves' first love. While searching for a career to support his art, he worked in the automotive industry and developed a niche in leather. It was like the uh, one piece that nobody really wanted to touch. Cracked, ripped, faded leather isn't easy to fix, but over the years, Brian became a local leather guru with a specialty in furniture. I have to really work towards perfection. Like an old world artisan, he hand restores even the most beat up, unsightly items at Hub Leather and Repair in Natick. It's a lot of art and it's a lot of science at the same time. And the art is probably 90% of it, sneaking the color back into it in such a way that you didn't know I was there. Brian makes house calls for large items and mends smaller pieces in his shop using just the right glue and finish. But leather is really, really tough. That's what I love about it so much. Is it's very thick and it's very tough and we can sand a lot of that surface down to get back to a more of a smooth surface and then we can build it back up with finish and it looks, you know, it looks amazing when you're done. Even grime can be banished for good. In some cases you have dad's favorite chair, uh, the arms will have hand oils and head oil damage and even in those cases we can go in and we have oil extractors to pull that oil out and then start sanding and refinishing from there. This is a case where we're going to have to dye the leather to match this in, so we're going to blend the color into this to match. On average, large repairs cost 25 to 30 percent of the original price. Standard touch-ups range from $195 to $225. These are from a chair called an Eckernest chair uh, with a chrome frame. Brian is also an expert restorer of historic furniture, like the Eames 670 Lounge and Ottoman, one of America's iconic chairs. Sometimes he tackles bags and jackets too. It's all there in Lindsay. It's all there. Brian says business is booming, leaving rare time to polish some of his other skills.